Lin Yarmi, uh, talking to us about the World Data Service at the University of Colorado Boulder. So we're not moving too far. <laughs> At, and hosted at the NSIDC as well. Lynn, uh, the floor is yours and your presentation is up. All right, uh, so it is four o'clock. Uh, this is gonna be the most exciting presentation today, so thank you for speaking with me. Um, I want to talk with you quickly about the World Data System University of Colorado branch of the NSIDC uh, umbrella team. Uh, so thanks to Steve for setting the stage for me. Uh, I am here representing maybe 25 or 30 people, so my thanks to them as well for, for letting me be here. I want to highlight a couple of the session themes quickly, uh, but my hope is that this is going to be a capstone uh, presentation for a lot of the conversation that we've had up to this point about uh, collaboration, about partnership, and, and that value. Uh, so keep that in the back of your mind as we go forward. Uh, so what Steve talked about was this 54%, I mean, the, the NASA side of the house is a pretty significant portion of NSIDC. But what I would like to talk about is this other 46%, and this is why I think NSIDC is a really exciting place to be, that, that there's so much going on. So, so from a diversity perspective, um, what we've got here is a subset of NSIDC programs and projects with everything from satellite data from NOAA to local and traditional knowledge, uh, ecology, biology data, social science is a new addition to the NSIDC portfolio, as well as a lot of cyber infrastructure projects and analog data. Uh, there, there's a lot going on. But what we can try and do is take all of these different resources and make a better, bigger picture about the, the data landscape and about what science needs about uh, how to answer all of the complex questions that we've got going forward. So given that horizontal landscape view, what I'd like to do is spend a couple minutes uh, getting a little vertical. Let's talk through some of the details of uh, a couple of the projects as an example case of how some of these collaborations, partnerships, and the nitty gritty are working. Um, again, this is just an example case. I could give a similar presentation on any of the other logos I've shown or, or others as well. Permadata. Uh, permadata is a project about permafrost data. Um, permafrost is ground that stays frozen for more than two consecutive years. It's been identified as one of those essential climate variables. It has huge implications for infrastructure, for climate. Um, it's an important thing. Uh, the issue is that we don't know where all the data are. A lot of the data are scattered, hundreds of thousands of files, different formats and old structures, um, all of those similar problems that we've heard about earlier. So this is kind of a microcosm uh, you can think of uh, from, a, from a scientific perspective. A modeler right now is going out to any number of different places looking for this stuff and then spending umpteen hours, weeks, months, trying to figure out how to make it all work. So what we've got um, are diversity by scale. Um, what we're looking at are pretty much Arctic regional permafrost sites, international. Um, and I'll show you a map in a moment. But I also want you to think about scale in terms of time series. Uh, uh, there's been a lot of fantastic work done, especially in terms of modern observations, uh, some of the modern um, uh, monitoring programs, uh, but what we're going to do is extend that time series back to the late 1800s. Again, trying to put that time series together so we can understand changes now in the context of the history. Um, so rather than looking at monitoring programs, we're almost looking at that discontinuity of monitoring programs. Uh, someone drills a borehole in Siberia and it's funded under one program, and then that program shuts down, the data set closes, it's stored, archived, and then another program comes in and starts a totally new data set. How do we know those are the same? None of those people are around anymore. How can we reconcile some of these things to basically reconstruct that time series and, and put together that monitoring program retroactively? Um, We've got a lot of standardization issues, quality control, as, as we've all talked about. This, on, this, notion, this notion of uncertainty um, is really important. We've touched on that a little bit. I think, I, I feel like the next meeting we all come to is going to be a lot more about uncertainty. Um, and at the end of the day, a lot of the permadata work is in this data rescue realm. Uh, 
uh, which we've noted as a really important factor for trying to understand what the baselines are that we're all tracking. Uh, this is a hugely complex project. It's a very small project. And so what we've needed to do is partner. Uh, we're working with uh, both individual scientists as well as the global terrestrial network for permafrost, the international permafrost uh, science community, as well as a number of cyber infrastructure and data projects and expertise. Um, and what we're going, what the value of all of this at the end of the day is to take a really sparse uh, modern record and add a whole lot more information to it. So, so the permadata sites are in this lower map. The existing sites in the global terrestrial network for permafrost are in the upper. And you can see we're basically trying to fill in the globe. This is harder than we would all like it to be. Uh, I won't go through the challenges. Uh, but I think the point here is that all of you in this room can probably identify with one or more of these. These are not uncommon. However, they are hard. Um, but I believe and really think that this is where partnerships can help. Uh, Permadata, for instance, is approaching each of these challenges through this partnership model. And what we've really seen is that there are many interested stakeholders coming in to each of these challenges uh, with different perspectives, with different needs, uh, sometimes some unexpected insights. Uh, and what we can do with this is to bring all of those together and come up with one a, a much more clear understanding of the problem space that we're dealing with, uh, but then to a much more inclusive uh, and I think well-rounded solution as well. So with that, I'm hoping I, I nailed that from the partnership piece. So please go forth, collaborate, um, and if you have any questions, uh, feel free to find me and ask. Thank you so much. <laughs>